there are hundreds of millions of people who when you say, oh, well, you'll just have a, all it will mean is there'll be a QR code on your telephone and you'll be able to do this and do that and all that. And they think it's just convenience, Ava. Yes, so I've said it so many times, mm. but convenience is the best way towards a modern person's heart. So if you tell them that something is convenient and actually it's in your best interest, it's just going to make things easier for you, make travel more accessible, which is actually, you know, it's so mm. ironic, but that's actually how they sold this digital QR code that we had to use as European citizens during the pandemic. Because that's something that I've noticed, and I'm very happy that you touched on this, Michelle, because a lot of Americans especially had mm -hmm. no idea what it was like in the EU during COVID. So we all had, or I didn't because I refused it, yes. but you had to have it in order to go to bars, go to restaurants, go in some places even to work, a digital QR code on your phone that other citizens, mind you, were mm. able to scan because they released both the application for the QR code and the application to check the QR code right. to the public. And that was what we had to use in order to get to places. Well, I mean, I know that the, the measures, the, the restrictions were draconian in America too, but most of you guys had a paper pass. And now I'm obviously not encouraging anybody to do anything illegal ever, but there are ways around that. And there are no ways around a digital QR code no. when somebody is standing there in front of the door saying, ma'am, I need to scan that. And that's where we're heading towards because indeed exactly that technology is now adopted by the World Health Organization and will be probably mandated for all of us in the future.